Now, as you can see, summer is definitely over here in the eastern parts of Norway, but uh, that's alright because fall is actually my favorite season and it's really beautiful up in the mountains here this time of year. So, it's really great coming up here just to get a break from everyday life and, and get some inspiration. When I reached out to you guys on Instagram the other day, asking for topics to make videos about, one thing that cropped up quite a few times was how do I stay motivated to keep creating music? Now, this is actually something I consider to be one of my strong sides, and heaven also have a lot of weak points as well, but I've always been able to work hard toward long-term goals. This is actually something that is really important to be able to create a sustainable career in the music industry. A quote I've heard many times about this field is that it's definitely not a sprint, it's a marathon. And although it might look like someone just emerges out of nothing and becomes a superstar overnight, what you usually don't see is all the years of hard work that they've put in prior to their careers taking off. By the way, I really missed being the guru delivering advice on the top of a mountain, so it's nice to be back. It's basically like this. The more time you can put into something, the less luck you require and that's why if you're able to motivate yourself to work hard and focused towards a goal over a long period of time the more likely you are to succeed I really like coming up on this little mountain from time to time it's not really a mountain, but this little hill, it uh, really gives you a great view of, the, uh, of this entire area. So, now that we have established how important a continuous focused effort is, how can we actually motivate ourselves to uh, keep working and keep pushing? Now, this is something we all struggle with, and I've struggled a lot with it in the past, and still do occasionally. I've been doing some thinking lately about what I do myself to stay motivated and hopefully you'll get some value out of seeing how I view this whole thing. For me, one of the most important things is to make sure that I'm getting inspired regularly and this means seeking out music and people that speaks to me. So I really try to make an effort to always have something new and interesting to listen to just to have a fresh perspective. And I also like to um, get inspired by people in related fields, like uh, YouTubers, photographers, painters, entrepreneurs even. I mean, whenever I feel a little bit lazy, I usually just put on a video with Gary Vaynerchuk and I instantly feel like I need to get moving and keep pushing. It's actually a bit too early for me to make videos at this hour. I hope I sound motivated. <laughs> Another thing that's important to me is that I try to make an effort to um, celebrate the things that I have actually achieved because it's very easy to keep striving towards that next goal without really appreciating what you have achieved this far. This is just how we humans work, I think. We're never really happy with what we have at the moment. I mean, if you're an artist that currently plays coffee shops and bars, you wish that you could play bigger music venues. And if you're currently playing those venues, you wish that you could play concert halls. And if you're currently touring in concert halls, you wish you could play stadiums and so forth. So we can get a bit blind and we don't always appreciate the success that we have achieved this far. And therefore it feels like we're really stagnant when in fact we've probably achieved a whole lot, especially if we've been at this for a while. Yes, it's very important to always keep pushing towards that next goal, but I find it equally important to every now and then take a step back and appreciate what you have actually achieved. At least for me, this really gives me the confidence to keep at it because I can see that what I'm doing is actually working. Finally, the most important thing for me personally to stay motivated to work on my music career is to make sure it's fun. <laughs> and this sounds obvious perhaps. I mean, we all start doing music because we find it to be fun and enjoyable. But for many of us, at some point, there's not that much fun left and it all becomes a chore. And I've seen many examples of this. And one day you might wake up and find that 
you don't really want to touch your instrument anymore because it's just connected to feelings of stress and despair. And if this becomes a permanent state, it gets really hard to keep pushing. So just do whatever you need to do basically to keep the fun in it. And consider if this might mean that you should perhaps change up your style a bit or um, play with different people or maybe even pivot your career towards different aspects of the music industry. Just try to be really specific and figure out which part of this music thing gives you the most joy and focus on those. Chances are you won't make a ton of money anyway in this field, so you might as well focus on what gives you the most joy. I mean, it's not why we started doing music in the first place. Okay, so that's my two cents on the motivation. If you found this video useful at all, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. But I'd also like to hear from you. What is it that you do to stay motivated? Please let me know in the comments, I'd really like to know. And I'll see you in the next video.